In other words, you can do perfectly powerful things using traditional CPUs and running AI systems. You can make very value-oriented tactical deployments of small language models within the enterprises. And the enterprises out there that are leveraging AI as a true false multiplier for their business, they're focusing on that. In other words, they're not focusing on how big of a consumer that they can be. They're focused on how they can bring the most value back to the business based on the use of AI. So also keep in mind that high token consumption can arise from inefficient workflows, not necessarily from intelligent or innovative application design. So that's where I'm getting at. It has no applicability uh, and direct applicability to its ability to, you know, get to the end state value that the enterprises are looking for. And it could kind of go to an issue. In other words, if you guys are con con uh, consuming that many tokens in this short amount of time, there could be some problems with the efficiencies of your architecture, how people are developing these systems, things like that. You got to take a look at that stuff because I'm seeing a lot of inefficiencies out there as people are very lazy in how they're building, deploying these systems. So usage-based awards incentivizes resource-heavy operations, which may contradict sustainability or responsible AI adoption. In other words, the same companies that are, you know, touting the amount of tokens they're using and getting awards for it, uh, for it from OpenAI, for example, are the same ones who are focused on sustainability and, and the responsible use of computing and the ability to be good stewards of the planet, that kind of stuff. This isn't that kind of a show. I'm not getting political here. 